Okay, uh, just want to illustrate how simple doing these uh, advanced questions are. And this is one of the questions about uh, resonant frequency. Resonant frequency. And it's uh, question 144. Four. Four. What is the resonant frequency of a parallel RLC circuit? And it doesn't matter if it's series or parallel for resonance. If R is 4.7 kilo ohms, and it doesn't matter what R is. R is just in there to confuse you. You don't need it. L is 2 microhenries, and C is 30 picofarads. So L, 2 microhenries, well, micro is... Um, a minus 6 or negative 6 exponent and pico pico farads is uh, a negative 12 exponent so you can do that easily on your calculator with the exp function uh, I'll just put down the formula here not that complicated uh, of a formula it's uh, Resonant frequency equals 1 over 2 pi times the square root of LC. And LC, L is the inductance up here, 2 microhenries. C is the capacitance, 30 picofarads. And 2 pi is just uh, 6 decimal 283, I think. That's all that is, 2 times pi. Anyway, uh, we could go through a long algebra thing. Maybe I'll do that sometime, or I can do that individually. But uh, the easiest way to do this thing is, uh, is on a, a scientific calculator. So let's give that a shot here right now. I hope you can see that okay trying to move this around for the light. Um, first thing I'm going to do is multiply L and C, then take the square root, multiply by 6.283, and then take the reciprocal. That's the easiest way to do it on, a, on one of these scientific calculators. So let's go. And uh, two you'll see 2 times 30, well I'm just going to say 2 times 30 is 60 and uh, a negative 6 exponent and a negative 12 exponent will give you a negative 18 you just add those exponents so let's put the numbers in here uh, 60 uh, and then press EXP right here EXP and then change the sign because it's negative. That's the sign change. Your calculator might be a little different. And it's 18. Okay. We've got that in there. That's multiplied. And just take the square root. So on this calculator, uh, you have to press the function button. So, or the shift. So it's shift, there's square root. Square root. So there's the square root there. So far, so good. Now, we got to multiply by 2 pi, which is 6 decimal 283. So, times 6 decimal 283 equals, we got that. And then now we take the reciprocal, or 1 over that. So, this reciprocal function, 1 over x, will do that for us. So, we press shift and then. 1 over x and now we count over decimal places um, our decimal point is there I don't know if you can see that it's between the uh, the 0 and the 8 so we'll count over for megahertz it's 6 places so 1 2 3 4 5 6 20 decimal 5 megahertz 20 decimal 5 megahertz so 20 decimal 5 
and whoops megahertz and lo and behold it says a so that's what the answer is well we got the right answer if we didn't get the right answer we might have made a mistake somewhere along the line anyway um, just to reiterate very easy to do on the scientific calculator uh, multiply out LC and I mean you could even multiply that all out on the calculator if you wanted to put in the numbers it's just that in this case uh, 2 times 30 is 60 and negative 6 plus a negative 12 is a negative 18 take the square root of that multiply by 2 pi or 6.283 and then take the reciprocal very easy to do on a scientific calculator and with a little bit of practice you'll be doing these things in less than a minute okay well thanks very much for watching